everyone. So this is my video of the top 10 must eats in Oahu. We went for an amazing seven day vacation in Oahu. So we only had 21 meals to squeeze in. And of course we ate more than that because we really wanted to take in all of the amazing places that people recommended but we had to narrow it down to our top 10 most favorite, you can't miss places to go. So here they are. Ah! Number 10 is the poke at Alicia's Market Express. We went and we tried a lot of different pokes. We didn't like them as much as Alicia's Market. Alicia's Market, they don't put on so much flavor or so much extra sauce where you can't taste the fish anymore. And the fish was just so fresh. We were expecting to find Alicia's Market. We couldn't find it. It turns out that they had a fire. The main market is closed and then now they just have this express site. So they didn't have as many offerings as they normally do. I hope that they can rebuild soon. It was super good. Number nine, the takoyaki at Takoyaki Yamachan. So Takoyaki Yamachan is inside the Japan Village Walk in the Ala Moana Center. And the way that they make the takoyaki is just so fun to watch. And the takoyaki was so good. Like soft and it was a little bit runny inside. The taco inside, they grilled it. And it was so good. I'm salivating while talking about it. <laughs> Number eight, ramen gashoken the shrimp spicy ramen. That was just so shrimpy and shrimp-tastic. Have to try it if you love shrimp. Number seven, Viola Shave Ice. So in Hawaii, they shave this ice so fine, it becomes creamy. It's a really interesting experience. We just got mango and we got azuki beans on the bottom. Somehow this ice just turns into almost like an ice cream texture. It was so good. It's something that you can't miss. There's a lot of different shave ice offerings, but Waiolo is the best. Number six is Any Udon and Marokame Udon. We actually went to Marokame Udon twice. I really love the Nikutama Udon, which is this sweet beef, and then they've got an egg inside, tempura toppings on it. And Bruce really loved the Zaro Udon, which is this cold Udon, and then you have a dipping sauce. It's just made so fresh, and you can actually watch them do it. And then you go in this cafeteria style line. Make sure that you go to the one in Waikiki. There's one more near Chinatown, which is the one that we went to first. And that one is smaller, it's not as clean, it's not as big. The other one is the one where the line just like at least a 30 minute wait to an hour, but it's totally worth it. It's so good. Number five, the taro chips at the Hawaiian Chip Company. It's in this sort of warehousey looking street and you wouldn't even think that there is this amazing food paradise waiting for you. They give free samples, you guys. So when you go inside, you can eat so many free samples. And the lady was so nice to us. She was like, try this, try that. I'm like, okay, okay, thank you so much. It's just heaven. They make these taro chips or sweet potato chips fresh. We ended up getting a one pound box. I know it's a lot, but totally ate them yeah. all because it was so good. Put on some of the Maui onion seasoning and also some barbecue seasoning, which was super good. There's there's nothing like Hawaiian chips. The chips that you can buy in the supermarkets here, they're just like thin and they're not really that flavorful, but the chips in Hawaii was just like they're thicker and they just like taste so good and I don't even put the I don't even think they put any flavor on it. Oh my gosh, I'm salivating. So good. Number four, the Loco Moco at Rainbow Drive-In. It was so cheap and so good. We tried a lot of different Locomoco offerings and I don't like the ones where the barbecue sauce is really sweet or it almost tastes like they put in Worcestershire. The Locomoco at Rainbow Drive-In, they use more of a gravy. So it's almost like the gravy that you would get on mashed potatoes. It was just really, really good. If you have a Locomoco craving, go to Rainbow Drive-In. Number three is a tie between the taro rolls at Auntie Emily's Polynesian Bakery and the malasadas at Leonard's Bakery. The malasadas at Leonard's Bakery are just something that you have to try because you don't think that they're going to taste how they taste. Really soft on the inside, crispy on the outside, and they make them fresh to order. So you have to try them. 
The tarot rolls, we were not really expecting anything. We were there for the Polynesian Cultural Center and we were really hungry. So we went into Auntie Emily's and we're like, oh, what should we get? Hey, there are tarot rolls for 75 cents. They end up being so moist, so good, and we got so obsessed with them. They had them at the Island Buffet as well. I don't know if Auntie Emily's made them or if the Luau made them because on YouTube, the Polynesian Cultural Center actually posts a video of the recipe and how to make them. When we came back, I tried to make them. They were a failure. I mean, they were good, but they just didn't taste the same. So I think it's because we don't have poi here. So there must be something that alters the consistency. But oh my gosh, those taro rolls were so good. Getting down to the final two, it was so hard. I almost want to say that they're both number one, but if I really had to pick, number two, garlic shrimp scampi at Giovanni Shrimp Truck. So everybody always says, go eat garlic shrimp on the North Shore, and they are not wrong. You have to. It's one of those experiences where it almost takes you out of body and into heaven when you're eating them. The flavors are so good. They give you so many shrimp. The shrimp are so big and they're so fresh. And the rice in Hawaii is just super good. I don't know why. I saw people even getting takeout. I was like, okay, you're smart. Like you guys waited in line and you got extras. Number one must eat in Hawaii. Helena's Hawaiian food. There's so many dishes of Helena's Hawaiian food that we loved. The short ribs were the best short ribs I've ever had. I mean, I've had Korean kalbi. I think it's just like the way that they cut the meat or the way that they cook the meat. I'm not even gonna try to attempt to think about how they cook it to make it so good, but they're the best short ribs I've ever had. The lao lao is so good. The chicken long rice, this like gingery chicken broth, and then there's vermicelli noodles, and they're so good. We also had the lao lao and the short ribs and chicken long rice at Da Ono, and Helena's is just a different level. The best food during our whole trip because so many things were so good. One of the places that we didn't get to try was the Pig and the Lady, which a lot of people recommended. So next time we go back, we wanna go try there. So those are our top 10 eats in Oahu. Go try them. Mm -hmm.